but I was so now I, I came here to Washington Square Park and found all these interesting things going on. Now, I see you have a unicycle. I do it. I've got a unicycle. And what is all this about? What are all these people? So this is the NYU Circus Club. It's called Violet Circus Arts. But it's not open only to NYU students. It's open to everyone. So we have community members. We have some high school students here. Uh -huh. And a lot of uh, NYU undergraduates and graduate students. Occasionally we even have an NYU security officer or a professor come by as well. Oh, really? The police you or just the, No, the to, play, to play, to oh, play to with play. us. Oh. Yeah. And do you have a Facebook page or anything? We do. It's, uh, it's called Violet Circus Arts. And if, if you just type that in, Violet as in the school color. V-I-O-L-E-T. V-I-O-L-E-T. Right. Circus Arts. And if you just type that in, you'll find us. Oh, okay. Um, it's uh, open to everyone and it's, uh, I don't know if I said, it's every Wednesday from 5 until 7. Uh, PM. Now it's warm, it's fairly warm, but I would assume that those times become more arbitrary as it gets colder, right? Yeah, so as it, as it gets colder, colder stays, what we actually continue to meet as long as we can. We have, we have polar bear juggling. It's basically uh -huh. the same thing except it's cold out. Um, oh, it's called polar bear juggling? We call it polar bear juggling just to, oh. just to get people, motivate people to come. Oh. Um, we continue to meet outside though because we uh, strongly uh, in, like the, the fact that community members can come as well. And if right. we went in an NYU building, it would be hard to get community access to the building. Right. There's been some interesting programs on public spaces on NY New York City television. Oh yeah? Yeah. So they were talking about how when they design, how you decide oh, to make, whether yeah. you really want to encourage people to use them and Definitely. to make them, yeah. you tend to design them in yeah. a way well, that we, makes them people feel very welcome yeah. or yeah. picky. In other words, they're designed well, it's, to... It's definitely interesting to see the difference in sort of the vibe of the park in Washington Square Park versus, say, Bryant Park. Both of them have regular juggling clubs. This one, because it's a little bit more open and there's this paved space, uh -huh. you can have more unicycling and more, right. uh, some of these things that take up a little how, bit how more How many people space. do you have uh, members? Members, it depends on how you count. On our, on our email list, I think we have about 300. Um, on our Facebook page, I looked recently, we're at about 130, 140. So um, right now there may be, I don't know, I'm guessing 20 people here? Yeah, we got maybe uh, 20, 20. 15 or 20, I mean, not yeah, a huge 20. number. Is that about a normal turnout? This, this is a pretty normal turnout. In uh -huh. the uh, beginning of the semester when it's still nice out, yeah. but the freshmen have just returned, then we can have really large turnovers, or like really large turnouts. Do you do um, promotion within the school or just on Facebook or how? How do you uh, find? People. How do we find members? Well, honestly, practicing out in the park is uh, <laughs> is a great way to publicize ourselves because we're having fun. But then right. people walk on by, and regardless and of the somebody care, else that right, tells you, "Hey, I know that." They say, "Hey, can I try that?" And say, no, "Absolutely." No, we meet every Wednesday. I'm saying seven. there's some event like Figment Festival. That's right. Yeah. Where I had met. Yeah. Oh, I was talking to earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. I'll thank put you. this up on YouTube cool. for you, so maybe you'll get a few customers. Cool. I'm sure they'll find it interesting. Thank awesome. you.